The chief drill instructor with a capboard, do we understand? Aye, sir! Drill instructors, you're good. Three, 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 four, four, five, four, six, five, four, six four, seven, four, eight, 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 begin. Aye, right, sir! One, sir! Two, when he goes down! Two! Nine, you take your, your first yeah. Three! Four! Five! Seven! Five, sir! Five! Eight! 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 Begin. Begin. Hurry up. Begin. 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 How many? Six, sir! Go to get in. Scream, sir! Sir! Go to get in. Go to get in. Come to the hang. Sir! Request the mission on the bar! Begin! Request the mission on the bar, sir! On the bar! Aye, sir! Begin! Aye, sir! Fourteen! Fourteen! Two! All the way down! Three! That's that's two. two. Three. Six. Scream three. Four. Seven. Sir. I said scream three, right? Five. Scream three. Six, three, sir. Five. 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 No. Six. Six. Ten. Seven. Sir. Request permission to mount the bar. Sir. How many? Sir. Eight, sir. Go to your captain. Yes, sir. Stop to your face. What? Scream out, sir. Aye, sir. Mount the bar. Aye, sir. Request the honor requested permission to mount the bar. Begin. One. Mount the bar. Two. Aye, sir. All the way down. Three. Begin. Five. One. All the way down. That's one. Nine. All the way down. That's eight. That's nine. Ten. Hey, you. Get up the board, Jack. Ten. Go to the canteen, grab yourself. Skip back! Scream out, sir! Mount the bar. Begin. How many? Go to the canteen. Four. 
Mount the boy. Begin. Mount the bar. All right, sir. One. All the way down. Two. Yes, sir. Begin. Go to Katin. Hi, sir. I quit. Good morning, sir. Go. Mount the bar. Hi, sir. Thirteen. Begin. Thirteen, fourteen, lower, fifteen, sixteen, three, 
Okay, so it's a two-minute timed event. It can be conducted either indoors or outdoors. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is when you approach, you're going to get in what's called a, the, the ready position, which is on all fours. Hey, wait, once the counter, the scorer says ready, you're simply going to assume the high plank position. Push-up consists of you going all the way down, upper arms parallel with the back, all the way back up to the high plank position. At no time will your hips sag while you're doing a push-up, th those do not count. At no time will your hips be elevated while you're doing a push-up, those do not count. Your head may not dip while doing a push-up, those do not count either. So if the, the person performing the push-ups does 10 incorrect push-ups, so do like five, so one, one, if the scorer continues to count the same amount of numbers, what, what will happen is the scorer can then tell the, the person performing the incorrect push-ups to go back on all fours and explain the deficiency. For instance, your hips were too low, your, your hips are sagging on the deck, or your hips are too high. From there, he will go ahead and, and give the person or the, the, the recruit, whoever, the, an opportunity to start over. So from there, you go ahead, you start over. You need 34 complete push-ups to, to pass. So, ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five. The only resting position will be an elevated high plank position with your butt in the air just as such. So this is the crunch portion of IST. The person that's crunching is simply going to lay flat on the deck. He's going to reach up, grab air, tuck his thumbs in his armpits, grabbing his biceps, keeping his arms tight to his body. A full crunch consists of him going all the way up till his forearms touch his legs all the way back down. At no time will he wiggle side to side to, to get up and gain momentum. At no time will his butt come off the deck to do a crunch. His arms will remain tight to his body. At no time will his arm leave his body while doing the crunch. All right, so this is the pull-up portion. Where the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to be told to mount the bar, come to complete that hang. So go ahead and mount the bar. And from there, a, a complete pull-up consists of the recruit or the Marine pulling himself up, chin breaking the bar, all the way back down to the fully locked out position. If for any reason that recruit or Marine goes side to side or uses the vertical beams to get up, those do not count. If for any reason the Marine or recruit kips to get over the bar, it does not count. If for any reason the Marine or recruit bicycles to get over the bar, those do not count. It's simply straight up, straight back down to the locked out position. So today, the recruits uh, conducted the IST, or the Inventory Strength Test. It consists of two minutes of crunches, a mile and a half run, pull-ups, and then an option for push-ups. The recruits are required to do 44 crunches, or the males are required to do 44 crunches in two minutes. So, is, so are the females. Uh, for the run time, for the mile and a half, the males are required to run the mile and a half in 13 minutes and 30 seconds and the females are required to run in 15 minutes. For pull-ups, the males are required to get at least three pull-ups. The females are required to get one pull-up. For the push-ups, the males are required to get 34 push-ups, and the females are required to conduct 15. Uh, typical trends that we see here at the IST are the difference between pass and failure is usually the recruit's form in the execution of these exercises. If you really want to give yourself the best shot at uh, performing well and executing well, you really want to make sure that you're working on form rather than just going out and doing these exercises just merely for numbers and for reps. One of the other trends that we typically see are recruits that are showing up here only able to do the minimum standards. In order to be successful both here and throughout the recruit training process, you need to ensure that you arrive here on Paris Island or San Diego able to go beyond those minimum standards. So if a recruit fails, if he fails the crunches, the push-ups, or the pull-ups, they will give an opportunity to reattempt that exercise. All that happens at the end of the IST. If they still fail, they're going to be given an opportunity to either be waived into training 
and that happens based on the company commander and the company staff for that training company, or they're going to be sent over to PCP, which is the physical conditioning platoon. While at PCP, they will be given three attempts to re-execute an IST before they are separated from the Marine Corps. For those recruits that pass the IST, they can expect to pick up with their training company on the very next day, on Saturday. They will start forming from then, and then by the very next Tuesday, they're going to start training day one, and they're well on their way to earning the title of United States Marine. Uh, Captain McGee, uh, first name Cody, C-O-D-Y-M-C-G-E-E. -E. And what is your billet? Uh, company commander for the Recruit Processing Company.